Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things photography. Today we're going to talk about how to up your Instagram carousel game so when you scroll through you get that one seamless image. <laughs> Okay, so you might have seen this before on other people's Instagrams where they post a carousel, a series of images in one post, and it's not just one image after the other. It's almost like a scrapbook, like one image might cross that border into the other image, or you might have one continuous background with one image, and then there's images layered on top of that. But how do you do that? So the other evening, I took a wander around London with Sheldon. We shot around dusk, mixing in some of the daylight that was left there and some of the artificial lights that were available in the streets of London. We shot a mixture of headshots and a couple of action shots. I'm going to jump into Photoshop now and show you how to create a seamless carousel with your images. So let's go. So I'm going to go to new, file, then new, and I'm just going to go A4 and orientation, landscape, and open that up. So if your rulers aren't showing, or if your guides aren't showing, it's just Command R up the top there. And generally it's believed that the best crop for Instagram is four across and five down. That takes up the most of your screen, therefore it has the biggest opportunity of having the largest impact. So what we're gonna do is prepare a set of four by five carousel images. So for example, if you do the math, and say you have five different images in your carousel, you would need to do five times four, that's 20 across. So I will just press C, drag it across here. So we want to see where it says W there on the, on the right hand side, you want to take that to at least 20. Take it a little bit over, press enter, and then it's 20 wide. And then we will lay out our grids. So we'll go to guide, and we'll go to new guide. Yeah, you wanna do a vertical line every four, okay? So the first one would be four inches and you click okay. Now a different way of doing this is bringing your cursor to the side here in the rulers and pulling one out. You hold a uh, shift, it'll snap to eight there and that makes this whole thing a lot quicker. So just bring out the next one, four, eight, 12, 16, and then finally 20. That's why you bring it just past 20 because you want that e little extra room. And then the next one would be five down. You just need one of these. So bring that from the top. And if you don't want to bring it from the top and you've got one from the side, with the new update, you can press Alt and then bring it down and keeping the finger on Alt, if you also press Shift, it'll snap to five. And we just go to C for the crop tool and we bring it in and that will snap into place and there you have your carousel so this is the foundation of your carousel now you want to start bringing images in there and make sure you've got the best layout i'm going to bring in some images of sheldon and i'm just going to make these a little bit smaller because i want all four of these on one page i think okay so we've got our first one in place and i'm just going to start pulling in my other images here. And I think this is going to be my lead image. I like to fill my feed with portraits. I think that's going to be the lead one. So let's bring in a few portraits. So this image I'm going to use as the, the main one that's going to cross over two. So I'm going to really enlarge that. What you want to avoid is, especially with portraiture or anything really, the main subject, you don't want that sitting on a seam. If you ever look in a magazine when you fold it out, someone's face is never sitting in the gutter there. So if you imagine the middle of the swipe as the guttering of your images, you don't want anyone's face sitting in that because then people are gonna kinda have to hover their finger mid swipe. What I like to do is put maybe the main portrait in one of the frames. We can see it here between 12 and 16. Okay, so I've roughly got my layout. I'm quite happy with this. But if you look at my Instagram feed, I like to incorporate different pastel and different color backdrops. And one of my favorite things to do at the moment is have like a gradient going across the back. So you don't have to have a blank color for this. You can use, say if you've got a cityscape, let me drag one in here from the other day. You know, you could use a larger image and have that right across and then that's where you're really utilizing this method of having like a seamless carousel. And if I full screen that, yeah, could look pretty cool, but that is not what I wanna do today, and I'm just gonna get rid of that image. I'm going to create a new layer, and I'm just gonna put a gradient on it. I like to look at the image and see 
any colours that I can play on it, either any complementary colours or colours that are in it. And I reckon if I get my gradient tool and drag it across, something like that. And there you have it, that is what your carousel is going to look like. This is the key point and this is where the grids are essential. So you go to uh, C for your crop tool, go up to the top left here and pick your ratio. Remember what I said earlier about four by five? Pick that. Initially it'll want to crop the middle one, just press escape and escape again. And you will snap this first one and see if I just go to do that again. We have width, four, height, five. Perfect. And this is where your grids are important because the next one is going to crop it exactly the same place. So what you want to do is crop that, press enter, don't panic that you've deleted everything, file and save. And I will just go uh, how to, do people still use dashes? How to carousel. Dash one, because there's gonna be five, I wanna make sure they're in order. Save as a JPEG, save. Yeah, save as maximum, it's gonna be quite a small file. Okay, and we're back in Photoshop and we've just saved the JPEG. So go to history and you can click back or you can just press Command Z. Okay, and then we just do this through and through. We do it for each image. Save as, how to carousel, dash two, save as JPEG, and work your way through this. Command Z, next one. Okay guys, then you come to Finder, all right, and then just right click on those. If you've got yourself an iPhone, you can just drop it, airdrop. Airdrop that to your iPhone. Yes, my iPhone is just called iPhone, except that. And there we have our images. Okay, so go into Instagram, press add post. Always remember to press that button, that little, not the square, but it's your four by five. You wanna press carousel, make sure you've got your order right. So this was first, this was second, third, fourth, fifth. And then you just press share. I'm not gonna do any of the captions or anything because I'm gonna immedi immediately delete this and post it properly with all the things for when I post this video. Okay, and that is our post there. We can see it is nice and seamless. See those joins? Nothing there. And that gradient carries over real nice. And we've got Sheldon there, yeah. I am very happy with how that turned out. Okay guys, so that pretty much guides you through how to create a seamless carousel on Instagram using Photoshop. Um, let me know how you got along, let me know if you've tried this out, if you've been wondering how to do this, and now finally here's the guide, or if there's a simpler and easier and quicker way of doing this without Photoshop or with Photoshop, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.